hello again. Rather than do any useful work, I'm continuing to accessorize my machine, machines, and uh, well, when I was making the lampshade for the ring light, the angel eye light for the mill that I was the subject of my last video, um, I had a bit of a problem. It was throwing chips all over the shop. And I mean, they were ricocheting off the ceiling. So um, I decided I needed to do something about that and uh, wound up on eBay and buying a, 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 a lathe guard, a flex bar lathe guard, uh, one of these guys to uh, try to contain some of those chips and make, and make less of a mess. Um, well, it, I bought a, one that was represented as unclaimed freight, um, um, you know, open box, um, never been used, just dirty. Um, thought I'd take a chance on it. Um, when it arrived, well, just dirty did not really describe the condition. Uh, this, this is what it looked like. And that is not dirt. Uh, I don't know how many years this thing sat around. Quite a few, I think. Somebody eventually decided they wanted to clean the dust off of it, I guess. And they went after it with, I would guess, probably acetone. Uh, and, uh, and a scrubbing pad. And, well, it, it made quite a mess. And I don't know if it was the exposure to solvent um, or just what, uh, but there's some crazing and, uh, and there's a big crack on this corner here. Um, so I wasn't too pleased and uh, I started the return process and, well, the seller immediately just refunded the purchase price and uh, apologized for the inconvenience and told me to keep it. So I couldn't use this. So I bought a brand new shield for it and uh, and mounted it up. I, I'm still a little ahead. Uh, or, yeah less than the cost of a, of a, of a brand new one entirely. Um, but, uh, but I had to make a bracket for my lathe here that would mount it in the appropriate location and uh, still clear this lid on this old Logan lathe. So some quarter inch uh, uh, plate and uh, a little heating and bending and drilling and anyway, got a uh, nice mount for it. I think it'll help. It's kind of big for this lathe, seems like this is the small one. But after getting it mounted up, I think, um, well, I think that uh, the Mini, they do make a smaller size, would uh, really be too small for this machine. Um, as it is, I mean, I've got enough room here to get in and for the tool post to get in underneath the, the guard and, and do some work. I don't imagine I'll use it except when I'm trying to keep it from throwing chips all over the shop. But uh, anyway, this is a quick little project that I did uh, this morning. And uh, then I, I did do some kind of 
you know, electronic lead screw related work. This is a, I cut a, a three quarter inch, eight thread per inch Acme thread here. Um, I got some insert tooling. This is cheap Chinese stuff. Um, and uh, it was a good test for the lead screw. I do have some little anomalies. This is uh, 1144 stress proof and uh, you really have to be careful with the, the, the depth of cut. It won't handle very much at, uh, and I actually think uh, judging from what I'm seeing that I've uh, that I uh, managed to stall the lead screw a little bit it uh, it recovered it didn't ruin the part but I got a I got a couple of divots so that's good information that's the kind of thing I, I need to test for and uh, there may be something I can do about that um, and I'm still hoping that uh, that I that that I will have less trouble cutting bearing bronze on my one of my upcoming projects. I'm going to rebuild some half nuts for these lathes. In fact, I've picked up three sets of worn out half nuts for Logan. Model 200 lathes, and uh, and I'm gonna try to rebuild them. I'm gonna, I gotta make a jig. I gotta bore these out, jig them up, bore them out. Um, I've got some bearing bronze. I need to cut internal threads on. Either silver braze or glue them into into these after they're bored out and uh, uh, and uh, have some, well, if you're interested in, maybe we can work out a deal. Uh, if yours are worn out, I'm gonna do these three plus the ones that are, that are in this lathe are, are pretty worn, not as bad as any of these are. But uh, anyway, the first set's gonna go in this lathe and then the other three, assuming I can get them done, um, I'll have to find new new homes for. So let me know if you're uh, in the market. So what else is going on here? Like I say, oh, it's back to the lead screw project. I've uh, added a I've added a toggle switch. To control the feed direction and uh, have a little bit more work to do on the code but uh, anyway I mounted this with a, a bar magnet in a, ste in a, a steel U-channel it uh, sticks up underneath the underneath the way it's very solid and uh, and I'm very happy with it uh, it's 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 really nice to have this tactile feedback for the lead screw. Um, when I was cutting this, uh, it was it was really nice, and uh, so there's that. More stuff to come. Um, hope you found this interesting, and uh, I'll try to start putting things up more frequently. Um, Thanks for watching.